that's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. Uh, today I'm doing uh, the document, my process of the Documented Life Project. Um, it is week 23 and, well, I should say week 21, May 23rd is the week. Um, and it is basically cheesecloth. Uh, the saying, I believe, is say cheese. So I'm going to start with the background first. And then I'm going to add other stuff. So welcome and enjoy the process. background. So now I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to start on my cheesecloth. Okay, and you're going to wonder why I have a skinny section of cheesecloth, but you'll see in a minute there's a reason to my madness. Okay, so with the cheesecloth I'm going to take it and I'm going to use one of these stencils. It's a Delta Creative stencil. So I'm going to use that. Um, let's see. I'm going to find the colors I want to use. Is the yellow yet? Okay. Alrighty. Whoops. Uh, well, I guess I'll get that after. Knock some stuff over. Okay. Get it good coverage here so that I can. Um, so that it shows up, kind of shows up on the cheesecloth. Okay. Went all over, but that's okay. I just really want it more for the color than anything else. Okay. So I'm gonna let this. Okay, before. guys, I'm back. So. I cut this out of my W magazine because I thought it would make a cool part for my for this page. So I'm going to do a few things with it first, and then I'm going to take since it's cheesecloth, right? I'm going to take the cheesecloth that we just painted, and I'm going to kind of wrap it up like this, roll it up, and it's going to become. Kind of like a scarf around the woman here. So, yeah. So I'm going to try to do something along these lines. Something. Okay, so that's the idea. That's the gist of it. Okay, so for now, I'm going to first do something with her face. Not quite done. So I've used some paint here, but I've used extra some glaze in it, glazing medium, 
um, but I have to add some water to it. It's gotten a little bit dry, out, kind of dried out a little. So I'm going to add some more water and mix it. Looks like I'm going to have to make some more. For now, this will be, should be enough to paint her face and stuff, what I plan on doing with her. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back. So, I'm going to um, draw the face. I kind of made a mistake. I edited the, this part out. I had drawn the eyes and they didn't look that great. So I went back over with some paint. You can kind of see through them, but um, see through the paint and see the mistakes I've made. But those will get covered up once I paint back over them. Okay, so... I didn't like the shape of the eyes, so I'm going to kind of cheat today. And I'm using this template um, that I got at um, Daiso Japan. Um, and what I love about it is there's these ovals. So if you really wanted to cheat to make smaller heads and faces, you could use these ovals for that. But today I'm going to use them to make my eyes. The eyes to her face. So I'm using the smallest oval on the template. And I'm going to move it over because I want her kind of having wide set eyes. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Not quite. Okay, there we go. these kind of help me, guide me to make my eyes a little bit better. And not all eyes are perfect, not all faces are symmetrical, but I kind of wanted her her face. Now I'm just got to go in and add a little more shading and stuff to her face. And get rid of some of these lines.
Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so I'm sorry, but um, I was using a new camera for this last part and the battery went out. So I had to go back to my webcam. My husband was sweet and thought he could get me a wireless camera that would work like almost like a GoPro camera. And it was great and all, but the battery didn't last very long for what I'm doing. So we're going to go out and look for a, a decent video camera because my old video camera that I was using in the very beginning of making videos for YouTube stopped working. It stopped, rec my computer stopped recognizing it um, because it is old. So for the price of what my husband bought for this other camera, we're going to take it back. Luckily, um, Costco, that we got it at Costco, and so they have a really good return policy. So um, after having used it a couple of times, it just isn't meeting the needs that I need for this. So instead, we're going to go out and look for a new video camera. So in the meantime, I went ahead and finished added the finishing touches to her face and to her her um, hair, except I see I missed a little spot in here. Add a little more here to get rid of that spot there. there we go. So I added some more um, stuff to her hair, finished up her eyes. Um, I may go in and do a little more finishing touches later. But for now, I'm going to now figure out how I'm going to attach the cheesecloth for this. Whether I want to put it over her head like a scarf, like this, and then somehow that might work. So when I glue her down, I'll have to glue her down like this, and then I think that's how I'm going to do it. So now I need to get the background paper piece. I'm going to put it here. It is landed on the floor. You should see my art studio today. It is a mess, huge mess. So you guys can see okay. Whoops. Sorry guys. I changed my camera. Ain't my um boom. And my lamp where I had my camera hooked up, if you've watched my camera setup video, um, it used to be on a different angle. My husband finally put the right screw for this camera. And yeah, so um, I'm still trying to get used to where I've angled it. So sorry if I'm knocking it over a little bit. Here, let me fix it. There we go. Is that a little better? Yeah, that's a little better. So, sorry about that, guys. So hopefully I can find a better video camera and get better quality vi videos eventually. So for now, I need to glue her onto this. So I think I'm going to use my craft. So I want to make sure that it stays damp, whoop, stays down really well. So the way I have it now, it'll be interesting to see if I can get this down. And if I'm out of camera, I'm sorry guys. It's been a rough day of filming, trying to film this. It's been a hit or miss thing. I hate some ways I hate getting new stuff. My husband got it without my, without me. Um, so he really didn't know what my needs were. He was trying to surprise me, which was really sweet of him, but in some ways I wish he had waited. <laughs> Shh. Don't get it. Okay. So I've got to glue her down. everything in here. And your hand's going to go probably off the paper a little bit, but that's okay. All right, and then this is going to go down like this. I'm trying to get her down as flat as I can. 
and then this is her yeah I'm gonna have to bring it down a little more here it's called working in a tear so I gotta figure out how it's gonna how it's gonna stay down I'm going to have to lift up a little and then bring it on out. There we go. And then I'm just going to glue it in a couple of spots so that way well, that's how you alter a magazine clipping. At least how I alter mine to add faces and stuff to Except this eye looks kind of off, but oh well. And then, yeah, I didn't, there's one thing I forgot. There's going to be some more finishing touches I'm going to add on later. Because this needs to dry anyways. So I'm going to have to take another break and come back to finish this up. So this time my cheesecloth cooperated. I, there was another prompt I did for Crazy Island Family, a, a art journal prompt, and I was going to use, it was also using cheesecloth, and it just that one particular day it was not cooperating with me, but this time it is. So there we go, and then I'm going to, let's see. This is kind of wrinkling up. Oh wow, it's as good as it's gonna get, I think. Okay, this is gonna have to go down a little more. I didn't glue this down really well, but oh well. Next time, right? Live and learn. She's a little bit wrinkly. <laughs> oh well. Too much sun then. That'll be my excuse. Okay, um, so I'm gonna, oh, this kind of tore, dang it. Okay. Damn it. Oops, I swore, sorry guys. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have to trim this edge off. This edge off. Okay, and then I'll come back in later in a little bit while after this dries. So I will see you in a little while. Toodles. Well, unfortunately, my camera was doing something weird, so it didn't capture that I was finishing up the lips and the eyes and outlining a few things here and there and unfortunately it kind of dried a little wrinkled so I guess she's got wrinkles <laughs> it wasn't intended but she's got wrinkles so um, just one little bit more I wanted to finish right here And that's it guys so I hope you had fun watching this lesson let me turn off the light here so you can see her a little better yeah there you go okay so I'll bring her up a little closer there she is in all her wrinkles so she ended up being an older woman with this There you go. There you have it. See ya. See you next time. Bye.